All right, Welcome, J Dog. Yo, how's it going, King? What's up? Not bad, man. Now, we we're not going random here tonight, but we might as well be because oh, we're seeing Ganon and Doctor Mario yeah. in losers' quarters. I mean, low key, Doc has always, or uh, Boss has always had the best Doc in uh, MDVA just because of stuff like that. That string was really nice. Putting on doesn't matter how much percent I, does. Um, it doesn't matter when you get kicked in the face like that. Oh my God. He is a little too reliant on that cave. Everyone knows it is a bit inferior to Mario's. But I mean, for another ledge guard there, I'm pretty sure with that deep go. But yeah, and also if he connected that side B right there, he would have been sent down the depths. And with the stock lead, there's no reason not to go for it in situations like that. But oh my God, was that move always that strong? It was. You have not missed anything. That <laughs> that down throw forward air has always been a monstrous kill setup that Boss loves to go for. That's disgusting. He flew off the top. It wasn't even a chance that he was going to survive that. Like wow. even big old fat Ganondorf had no chance of living through that forward air. That's how strong this character really can be. As long as he keeps his feet on the ground. Yeah, and that seems to be the hard part. But Boss is known for having a strong neutral. So um, I'm sure like that's where he feels the most comfortable. Right. Just you know, really vying for these hits and trying to make these hard reads on his opponent, just like he was fishing for right there with that down throw. And Van tries to return the favor to him with that big forward smash, always on deck. All right, and man. both these players are at their death percents. Both players are very aware of their strong options they can throw out to take the game right here. Barely missing the up smash and isn't able to land the second one either. Yeah, I mean, that option is still going to be on deck, though. He just needs to get off this ledge position. And Van calls out the roll wrong. And there's another Catches setup chance. With the side B into the forward tilt. Van up a, up a game on boss right now. Yeah, very close game one. And there's still best two out of three uh, if I read the bracket right because uh, this yes, should be is. losers quarters. quarters. Yes, losers quarters. And this is Boss's first Xanadu back in a minute, is it not? It is indeed. I honestly don't remember last time he came up to a Xanadu. Yeah, yeah, me neither. I'm thinking hard about it. But, like, he's still, um, you know, kind of feeding in VA a bit. And uh, did you drive him here? Were you I right did. here? Okay. It was me. Yeah, so. I brought him and Rupee with me. Oh, so Rupee's I, br here too? I brought the Virginia Caravan. Oh, man. The two homies. I got to catch up with Rupee later. But, but right now, Van's the one who has to catch up in this percent. His yet to touch boss on this game to start. That trade, though, is going to be working out in his favor as he is able to make up the damage somewhat with those hard hitting Ganondorf specials. Yeah, and boss is just looking so comfortable with his Dr. Mario right now. The down throw forward air, he. Ops not to go for it. It might not have been true. But Van bets it all. And why not bet it all when you have techs like that on deck? You know, Boss, uh, he actually has been labbing Dr. Mario, believe it or not. You know, all these combos he's going for, all these punishes, he knows them to the T. He always has a plan in mind with this character. So we'll see what his plan is to take out the second stock from Van and move himself to a game three situation. Seeing this character on the screen kind of throws me back a bit because it reminds me of like back in 2014, 15, like uh, MDVA where everyone had a doc. And like everyone's doc was actually kind of nice, but um, I feel like this character really thrives off of fundamentals. I mean, every character does, but right, you know, uh, doc especially, he doesn't have really much grime or like much weird stuff to him. It's just raw fundamentals. Ganondorf, though, he still has those powerful hits on deck as we saw that up smash clear off boss's first stock. But he's ready to answer back with a nice string already. 53 and a roll read, too. Let's see what else he got. He's so good at continuing those combos off of those down throws. We'll see if Ganon can do the same here. Gets a bit off with that Warlock kick. Ooh, going for a lot there with that up smash. I mean, it's super safe, though. And Boss needs to be careful of these ledge scenarios because of stuff like that. The up B will poke over the ledge, and the side B can still drag him down and kill Boss first. But the down throw forward air is going to be the thing that takes that stock away. Another clean conversion for Boss. That was really good, too. After Van threw out the up smash, Boss ran up to him and held shield there, knowing that he was going to be trying to... Well, Van was thinking he was going to try to punish the up smash, so hit him with a jab. But Boss was a step ahead of him, knowing the jab was coming. I mean... Setting up the kill. Yeah, that's kind of like fighting Ganon 101. When you play a character that's not like Sonic, Fox, or Roy, if you're trying to punish that up smash, just don't. Yeah. It's not really worth it. Like, if unless your character's super fast, you're going to eat some hands. All right, and looks like the final pick is on deck. 
Uh, Dreamland is going to be the stage for game number three. Wait, you say Dreamland? I'm sorry. It's, it's Battlefield. Battle Co it's all right, man. Yeah, I mean, the stage list, I was reading, okay, the reason for that, I was reading a bunch of, like, stage list discussions earlier today, and they're talking about, like, untying Battlefield and Dreamland stuff like that. Okay. But it doesn't matter. It's, it's all right. It's list. all right, man. Anyway. <laughs> Dream it's, it's your Battlefield. first. It's your first uh, match on the mic for yeah. the night. It's all good. Yeah, Battlefield is going to be the pick, and it's interesting to see Van pick the stage because normally you see like the bigger characters try and avoid this, just because their airspeed and like size ops um, or lends them to getting juggled really easily. But that pill was kind of weird. It kind of caused a hard knockdown, and he has his jump to survive that cape. Otherwise, that probably would have been the stock. The momentum yeah. carried over. Van's always that. super careful to hold on to that jump, but because that of far. that tornado there, <laughs> just threatening the recovery, he wasn't able to make it back. Yeah, the thing about Edgeguard. Oh, what? With the shield break and landing a Warlock Punch. How many people on this planet can say they've landed a Warlock Punch on boss? Um, I mean, the one that we know of. But There's only one that matters right now, <laughs> and that's Hogpen's own Van. I'm sure the owner of Hogpen right now just has the biggest grin on his face right now. <laughs> okay, but Boss looks like he's kind of waking up right now, dashing in uh, Van's face a bit, keeping the juggles going. And another ledge trump, but he doesn't get the punish that he needs. Tries to angle down that forest match. Not connecting, but Boss has to watch that side B yet again. He's oh, definitely He already landed on Seagull Joe earlier today, so Van trying to make that look happen yet again. And it's definitely one of his win conditions right now because... No! <laughs> Oh my Just god. Just like that. You have he to respect that side B, even though the tornado looked like it had a hitbox out. It wasn't big enough to challenge oh that. No. <laughs> Van's going to take a 2 1 off oh. of a 100% <laughs> deficit. And Boss is saying he can't even be mad at that. And, like, that's. You really can't.